All right, people, all of my fish tanks are full with pet snails right now. They look disgusting, man. So I'm gonna go to the fish store today and I'm gonna see if I can find anything that will help me get rid of these snails. All right, and we are back from the fish store. Now I took a little look around and I managed to find two things in wholesale tropicals that should help me get rid of these pest snails. Oh yeah, let's go through the Fluval Flex first. So for my Fluval Flex, I got myself another pea puffer. Now I've had pea puffers in the Fluval Flex before and they done a great job at clearing the pest snails. It is really cool to watch. It's hard to record because when you see them and you like come towards the tank to film it, they get scared and they kind of like swim away. But if you've been sitting in front of your tank for a while and they kind of forget that you're there you get to watch them hunt and it looks so cool so for example let's say there's a snail on the glass the pea puffer will get really close very slowly and then go pew, and then it's like within a split second it almost sucks the snail out of its shell because all you see is an empty shell drop to the floor and yeah that looks really cool man i can't lie and like i said i've had some pea puffers before in that fluval flex and it worked great the last one did unfortunately pass away i'm not sure why but i do know that they eat pest snail so that's why i got one for the fluval flex Oh yeah, that's the first fish that I got, but it's the second thing that I'm really excited about because for the 200 liter and the 240, I got myself some assassin snails. Now, assassin snails are amazing people. They are literally snails that only eat other snails, which is amazing if you have a pet snail problem because they have plenty of food to get through. Now, I know it sounds weird dealing with a pet snail problem with another snail, but people, I can't lie, dealing with assassin snails is much easier than dealing with pet snails. You see with pest snails, you may see one on the glass and you think, ah, oh, let me get rid of that quickly before it goes out of control. But what you don't realize is if you see a pest snail on your glass, your tank is probably already out of control. There's going to be hundreds of pest snails and they keep multiplying every day and it really goes out of control. And the other thing is they're not even really nice to look at. Like the ones I got, which are these mini ram's horn types of snails. Yeah. They look disgusting, man. It looks like, I don't know, it looks like my tank got spots. <laughs> you feel me? But assassin snails, their shells look amazing, man. They have this bumblebee look with that yellow and black or yellow and brown. And the really cool thing is they reproduce very, very slowly. If I remember correctly, I think they only give birth to one snail at a time, similar to rabbit snails. So yeah, you can literally put two in your fish tank. Even if they do breed, it's going to be very slow. And eventually when you have to take them all out, it's going to be much easier. I mean, for example, let's say you bought two and they you know start reproducing and now you got eight and let's say you can only find six cool you still got two in there somewhere but eventually they are going to come out you can just pick them out and if there is one single one left behind that you didn't really realize once again they reproduce very very slow so and if it's by itself it won't reproduce at all i think so you'll be able to get it out very easily now i'm putting one in my 200 liter and i'm putting two in my 240 i'm doing that because for some reason in this tank snails really don't survive um i've tried to put rabbit snails in there i've put 
white wizard snails in there and they've both just ended up dead which means i'm pretty sure there's something in this tank that eats snails it could be my mori eel it could be my rope fish it could even be a ghost knife i'm not really sure but my point is i'm only going to risk one in here i hope this one takes as many pest snails out as possible before he may fall victim to one of the other fish however the other two in my 240 they won't have any predators at all so the plan is i'm hoping they're going to get rid of all the pest snails in the 240 and at the same time they're going to reproduce a little bit so after a while when i have quite a few i can take some out and just dump a whole load in here so they can hopefully take care of the rest of the pest snails and hopefully eventually all of my fish tanks will be pest snail free before we carry on people if you want to see more videos like this every single week where i talk about my fish tanks and i talk about some of my individual oddball fish then please remember to like and subscribe it really helps me out now if you're wondering why didn't i get an assassin snail for my fluval flex the reason is very simple i've got rabbit snails in there and i do love my rabbit snails and yeah the thing is if i put an assassin snail in there it's going to eat the rabbit snails asap so yeah that's why i haven't put them in and yeah they're acclimating right now i'm gonna put them in in a minute but I guess all that we can do now is wait. Now with the Fluval Roma 240, that is only at the starting stages of being taken over by the pest snail. So I'm hoping that should be fine. This tank might take a while because even though it doesn't look like there's many pest snails in there, at night time when you turn the light on at night, yo, this whole place is covered, man. It looks scary, I can't lie. Same with the Fluval Flex. So yeah, just keep an eye out. I'll update you guys for sure. And yeah, if you enjoyed this video, why don't you check out one of these two next?